Dumbo is the latest live action Disney remake to hit theaters. This time it's directed by Tim Burton. So let's talk about it. Dumbo is a retelling and expansion of the classic Disney film about an elephant with big ears who learns how to fly. Hi, my name is Sean and I love to talk about movies way too much. If you didn't know, I started an Instagram account specifically for Sean Chandler Talks About That. You can see that at that link down below. Be sure to share your thoughts on Dumbo down below in the comment section. Did you love it? Did you hate it? Did it disappoint you? All of that fun stuff. With that said, let's get started talking about the good. And the best thing about this film is that it finds a way to expand the Dumbo story in a way that makes sense. The original film is only just a little bit over an hour long. So this isn't a shot for shot remake, kind of like Beauty and the Beast was. This is essentially the same story with the same themes, the same cute Dumbo, except they added in a human story inside of it, as well as Functionally, this is a lot like a remake of Dumbo with a sequel added on, but it feels right. It makes sense and makes for a whole story. Populating the film is a great set of actors. They're just fun to see on screen. Most of them are given these very flamboyant, lively characters that they can have fun with. Danny DeVito being one of the standouts inside of the mix. As it is a Disney production, of course, it's very slick in the way that it's put together. It's very professional. You can see the budget on the screen. It also goes for a lot of very human emotions about bullying, family, a lot of things like that. And as the lead character is Dumbo, he is as cute as ever and seeing a photorealistic Dumbo trip on his ears and fly around is charming as ever. With that said, let's move on to the bad. But unfortunately, the entire film felt phony to me. From the overly processed look to the way the characters behaved inconsistently to the fabricated drama, everything about the film just felt like a screenwriter forcing a story and drama onto me. I don't know if this movie was shot on a green screen or on location because everything looks so overly processed and the colors are so vivid that it doesn't look real. Even when they are at an actual location in a field of grass with tents all around them, it doesn't look like a place that humans are actually at. And it's not that the shots look bad, but the colors are so rich and vibrant that it's distracting to look at. Likewise, the children in the movie seem very reasonable, but all of the adults in the film are written very inconsistently. In one scene, they'll be very friendly, charming people. In the next scene, they're ignoring kids, they're ignoring warning signs, and doing things that are unbelievably irresponsible simply because the script demands it for us to have the next big set piece inside of the film. And closely tied to those character decisions, all of the drama feels forced. Three separate times in the film, Dumbo is put in a circus act prematurely. The audience knows this is a bad idea. The kids know this is a bad idea. And then they push Dumbo into these circumstances. And then the camera zooms in on someone's faces. They're like, oh, Dumbo, you can do it. You can do it. And then things go badly. Three different times in the film, it repeats this exact same beat to try and create this scenario where Dumbo is an underdog and has to save himself in the last moment. To repeat such a specific plot beat three separate times in a film is just lazy writing and it highlights how poorly the adult characters are realized in this film as every single one of them seems to have this exact same fault. And finally, the film has really bad world building. What I mean by that, the rules of this universe are entirely unclear. At the beginning of the film, it feels like we're in a fairly grounded reality except for the fact that Dumbo has these gigantic ears that make it so he can fly. And that's why that's interesting. And that's why that's something miraculous is that it seems out of place inside of this world that we're in. But then as the film progresses, it seems like Dumbo can be reasoned with and kids can cut deals with him. That's not a reveal. That's not like people are talking to animals or anything like that. It's just kind of one of these things as the movie goes along, it's assumed, oh yeah, he can understand what the kids are saying. And then as you go into the second half of the film, you go from a fairly realistic, grounded traveling circus to this very futuristic theme park that looks like it's out of one of those Fleischer Superman cartoons from the 1940s where they have bubbles that can actually dance in the air. It's a movie with no clear rules as to what can 
and can't happen. And when you do that, suddenly an elephant flying isn't nearly as interesting because Anything seems to be able to happen inside of this world if the screenwriter wants it to. Real quick, before I give my final score on this one, tell me what did you think about it down below in the comment section. I know I'm being pretty hard on it. If you loved it, let me know why. Maybe you can convince me that maybe I missed something inside of the film. Also, after this video, check out this playlist up above with some of my best rankings of the Disney eras and the Pixar films. If you enjoyed this video, there's something up there that you'll enjoy. While it's not a train wreck, it is a bland, hollow, generic adaptation of a Disney classic. I'm gonna give this one a C and a five out of 10 on the entertainment scale. I do not recommend it. If you want more videos like this one, check out that playlist right over there. If you wanna follow me on a daily basis, you can check out that Instagram down below. Thank you so much for watching and keep talking movies too much.